Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have learned about the different kinds of trend. We have learned about what do you mean by deterministic trend, what do you mean by seasonality trend, and what do you mean by stochastic trend. Now in this lecture, we are going to learn how we are going to remove the deterministic trend. Or we can say that how we are going to detrend the series. So the package required is LM test. LM means linear model test. So now let's see how we are going to remove it. So let me attach the file. My file name is sales detrend. Now my file is attached. Let me library or you can require the package LM test. Now package is also library. Now first of all before learning how we are going to detrend the series let me plot the series. So plot dot tss that means we are plotting the time series and my variable name is sales. So now you can see this diagram as the time increases the variable, the change in the move, uh, variable and the movement is upward. So that means trend is there. Plus you will see that there is a almost a constant change is there. So whenever the constant change is there, we can say that this is a deterministic trend. But in the real life, we will hardly find any deterministic trend. So now let's see how we are going to remove this deterministic trend. So for that, let me store the variable. Let me store the trend in with the name trend. You can give any name. So trend, LM, linear model, then your bracket and your variable from which you are going to predict the trend. So my variable name is sales. Now you have to put the tilt sign. You will find the tilt sign below the escape button. Now C, 1 is to length. Now the question arises why we are writing 1 is to length. 1 is to length means we are taking observation. That means observation from the first observation. That means we are taking variable from the first observation till the last one. We are considering all the observation that are there in the variable sales. So that's why we have written 1 is to length. And now the variable name, the variable is sales. Now you will see that the trend is stored with the name, vector name as trend. Now if we are going to remove this trend, that means if we take the residual part, whatever left portion is there, we can name it is as, it is a detrended series. So there are two ways to detrend the series. Or you can say there are two commands. The first command is I am storing the command in dtrend. So dtrend is equals to residuals. Residuals means remaining. Remaining part of trend. So we have stored the trend in the vector trend. So whatever remaining part is there, we name it as a dtrend. Now you will see that dtrend series is created. Now how can we check that the series is detrended that means your deterministic trend is removed so let me plot it again so plot dot ts and i'll write detrend so we are giving the command that plot the detrended series so now you can see over here that your trend is removed it's not going upward your trend is removed so that means we can say that now my series is detrended and it's ready to work or you can say we can do the analysis on this detrended series. Now let's learn the second command. One way was you can write the command detrend is equals to residuals and trend. Second is I can say I'm storing the command let's say detrend1. Detrend1 is equals to now I'm saying that remove the trend from the variable sales. So what I'm going to do from the sales variable, I am subtracting the prediction, I am subtracting predict and then I am writing trend because I have stored the trend in variable in vector 
trend. So now my detrended series is created. Now let's see. So let's plot it. So plot dot ts and detrend1. Now again you can see it over here that your trend is removed and your series become detrended. Now again your data is ready to work upon. So there are two ways either you can use the command detrend residuals and then write the trend or you can write detrend is equals to sales minus predict trend. So in both the ways you can detrend your series. So that's all how to detrend the series. In the next lecture we are going to learn about the seasonality trend that means how we are going to remove the seasonality trend. Thank you.